To find the optimal consumption point, that is how many DVDs and songs would you be willing and able to buy, we have to combine indifference curves and budget lines. Indifference curves represent what we are willing to buy, and budget lines represent what we are able to buy. In order to find the optimal consumption point, we graph the indifference curves. We also have to graph on the same graph the budget line. So if we have $100, songs cost a dollar, and DVDs cost 20, we can plot the budget line starting with if we had spent all of our $100 on songs, we would have bought 100 songs. And if we had spent all of our money on DVDs at $20 per DVD, we would have bought 5 DVDs. If we connect these points, we get our budget line. The optimal consumption point, that is the amount of songs and DVDs we would be willing and able to buy, is the amount that maximizes the benefit or value of those songs and DVDs to us while considering that we have constraints, such as our income, and that every time we choose a song, there's an opportunity cost. We're giving up a DVD. And every time we choose a DVD, we have an opportunity cost because we're giving up the songs. So to find the optimal consumption point, we look on the graph to find which indifference curve is the highest indifference curve that just touches our budget line. We could consume at a point, say, here, but because there are higher indifference curves, we could find a combination of songs and DVDs that would make us happier. So the actual optimal consumption point is the point at which the indifference curve touches the budget line just once. It is the highest indifference curve we can achieve given our income. This is the point at which the marginal rate of substitution, that is the slope of the indifference curve, is equal to the opportunity cost or the slope of the budget line. What this means is that the value of what we are giving up to get a DVD is equal to the value of what we are getting with that additional DVD. So here is our optimal consumption point. It's on the budget line and it's the highest indifference curve that we can obtain or the happiest we can be given our constraints and our costs. Given our indifference curves and our budget line, we can see that the optimal consumption point occurs at two DVDs and 60 mp3s. That is, given our preferences and our constraints, we are willing and able to buy 60 songs and 2 movies.